So in this video, let's take a look at how we can create the outline text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So I have Photoshop open and it's actually much easier to create this effect than you might think. What we're going to do is go to the text tool or the type tool in the left hand toolbar here. And the shortcut to that is the letter T and that's both for Windows and Mac, by the way. So if you just quickly select that, then let's just press once on our left mouse key anywhere on our canvas and that will create a title header. So I'm just going to quickly rename this text. And then with all of our text created, I'm just going to quickly select it all by pressing Command and A on my keyboard or Control and A for Windows. I'm going to go to the color icon and then just quickly select a different color just so we can see our text and press OK. And then I'm also just going to quickly decrease the size of our text so we can actually see all of it like so and then press on the tick here. I might also just quickly center our object just by holding Command and just dragging it to the center until it snaps to the guides like so. If you can't see the guides, just press Command and H on your keyboard or Control and H. So next, all we have to do is actually go to the layer itself on the layers panel. So as you can see, we've got our text object here. Just double click with your left mouse button and this will bring up the layer style options. Now next, what we have to do is make sure there's a tick next to stroke. Now in order to actually see the effects that we can change for the stroke option, you've actually got to make sure that the selection is on stroke too. So if you've got it ticked and you can't actually see these options, just make sure you press on the word stroke. And basically what stroke does is it applies a border to the edges of our object. So in this case, it's a text object, but it could be any standard layer type. So these parameters here basically allow us to customize our stroke. So for example, we can select the color here. So I could, for example, go bright red and now you can actually see the stroke itself. I'll just press OK on that. So you can change the size of the stroke and this is basically calculated in pixels. So what's the width of our stroke at any point? So at the moment it is four pixels, but if I increase that using the slider, as you can see, the stroke increases in size and I can go the other way until it actually reaches one where it's at its smallest. I'm just gonna leave it somewhere around five. Next, we can choose where our stroke is actually positioned. So at the moment it's positioned outside of our layer, but we can actually also change that to, for example, inside in which case it will actually add it to the inside of our layer. Or the other option is to center it, but it's taking a bit of both. So I'm just going to leave it on center for now. The blending mode is just like blending modes with layers, so you can select any blending mode for the stroke specifically, if that's what you're after. And the opacity is obviously the transparency of our stroke. So obviously 100% you can see it very clearly, and zero is it's fully transparent. So I'm just going to leave it at 100%. Now that we've customized our stroke, so this is essentially the outline, so make sure you've styled it correctly to how you want your outline to appear. All you have to do is press OK. And then the final thing we have to do is actually get rid of the white spaces between our outline. And in order to do this, what we have to do is actually adjust the layers fill. So not the opacity, but the fill itself. So if we just decrease the fill all the way to 0%, as you can see, this gets rid of the layer itself and the outline remains. So as you can see, that's a really quick way to be able to create the outline text effect in Adobe Photoshop by adding a stroke that creates the outline and then getting rid of the fill so you can't actually see any of the layer within the confinements of our outline itself. And obviously the great thing is this applies to all layer types, so including text objects. So we can actually go ahead and change our text at any point and still keep the effect on. If you're interested in learning how you can actually draw patterns in Adobe Photoshop, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. Do remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the content and also do subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more Photoshop content.